what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we're here with some more slam dunk connections uh connections reactions whatever anyways um we know what's going on in the series i'm not gonna waste too much time here on this intro because if you want to hear my reviews watch my reviews okay so this is just um for me to um uh, tell you guys what's been going on and i'm gonna try my best to keep with the schedule um, for Tuesdays and Thursdays so tonight I'm going in for a long session here to, for this to be posted tomorrow so there'll be four extra episodes on and I'm putting this on recording so that I so that I know I have to do it okay because usually on Monday nights I mean Tuesday night usually on Tuesday Monday nights Tuesday night, whatever okay I'm usually tired because it's the first day of the week, um, right? So sometimes you might see Slam Dunk come out very late on Tuesdays, and that's because by the time I finish recording anything um, on Monday night, I don't really sit around to really render anything out. I just say, you know, what tomorrow on Tuesday night, I'll just render everything out and get everything ready. And I'll just post it late Tuesday night. And that's why sometimes you'll see certain series come out so late in the night, sometimes 11 p.m. Eastern time, you know, before the next day. Or sometimes I'll just drop it whenever I'm done getting it done because I'm trying to keep up with the schedule. Right. So. Um, let's not waste any more time because I want to do at least six episodes in this session to put out four episodes on early reactions and give you guys two on the channel. So if you want to check out the extra four, of course, consider joining the early access on the channel. I told you guys I'm planning to do this so I can get ahead, especially on early access so I can get ahead of Edward that and provide whoever sign up for early access. Um, that they can have something to watch because they really haven't had anything to watch over there on early access And I want to make sure that there's always stuff on early access for anybody to come in and watch And to be available over there. So I'm working on that. I will get it down. I promise you anyways six episode session for me we will get two for Tuesday two for two um, for Thursday, but you will have um the extra four on early access and then two more of that from early access will drop on Thursday okay um, and there will be two still on early access going into next week that for the channel won't come out until next Tuesday so that's all it is let's go watch the reactions the show um, for me <laughs> all right welcome back guys that was two more episodes of slam dunk episodes 36 and 37 of course i am looking forward to see what how they're going to challenge this you know um they finally meet up with one of those schools that um this school was number two i'm guessing they lost to kynan in the finals um last tournament it's going to be something to see how they overcome this. I don't know if they're going to win or lose. But regardless, Akagi is not acting like himself. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't look very confident. He looks a bit fearful. Or maybe he's just nervous. Who knows? Because none of them want to lose. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about it is this. like, If you're nervous going into... And I think that it's one of the things that happens to multiple teams in the NBA, you know, to use a literal example, is a lot of teams, you'll see them play extraordinary in the regular season. And then in the playoffs, they are nowhere to be found. It's not the same team because guess what? There's more pressure in the playoffs. Um, now, you know what I'm saying? Now the other team can really zone in on who they're about to play for a potential seven games. So you'll see a lot of teams shrink when it comes to the playoffs. How many teams as, you know, LeBron, I, I, I think LeBron has had one of the, the greatest playoff runs in history. Just 
him alone. Pretty much it was just him alone. He had a few people there with him, but he carried that team. I think it was 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it was 2000 and 2018 run. Or was it the last one? Bef it, it, was the, I, it was the last one before he left Cleveland. That run, that LeBron run on in the Eastern Conference, where he was sweeping teams by him. He literally had the help he had was was not very much. <laughs> Let's just say that he literally carried that team to the finals, you know, and then the whole JR thing happened. But, you know, I know that, you know, if a, a lot of people is going to say he shouldn't have given up on the team, you know, after game one. You know what I'm saying? Because of the mistake that JR made and blah, blah, blah. I know a lot of people is going to say that, you know, he shouldn't have given up on the team. He should have still fought. He played. You know what I'm saying? He played, but he checked out. And and a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's like you got to understand, too, that he was playing against the best team in the NBA that had three superstars. You know what I'm saying? Like literally four all-stars on their starting roster in Golden State. I mean, I'm not saying... Listen, the Golden State Warriors were, with Durant was unstoppable. They were unstoppable. It was impossible to beat that team. You know what I'm saying? It was impossible to beat them in a seven-game series, and that's just my opinion. I, I don't believe that Toronto would have beaten Golden State if Durant was healthy. Period. Point blank. Come on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Clay wasn't playing either. Clay was out too. So there's a lot to it, you know. But as I was saying, when it comes on to the to you know teams, they shrink in the playoffs. They're very good teams. It's kind of like Giannis. Giannis can't do jack. <laughs> like if you look at the teams that he played, even when he went to the conference finals against Toronto and lost. Um, you can see that he really needs to improve his game. You know, spin dunk, Euro step dunk, it's just not going to cut it in the NBA. You know, to use another example, Damian Lillard, James Harden. These are all great regular season players. When they get to the playoffs, they don't know what to do. And I think it's nerves that get them. They're not going to admit it. They're just going to be like, oh, we just played a better team. Right, which is very true. The better team is gonna win in the playoffs, but in terms of mental, you gotta have that too. You gotta have that too. That's why LeBron can will a team to the finals. You know what I'm saying? And will a team to be the better team. He can do that. He led a 3-1 comeback against the Golden State the year before Durant went there and beat him in 2016. It is possible to will your team to wins. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you just have to have that mental fortitude to do it. So a lot of times you might be cruising, you know what I'm saying, easy opponents. And, you know, nerves will get you. And that's no fault against you. It's just that you haven't developed that mental fortitude yet for your self-determination to get the job done. There's a lot of times that... I think James Harden could have won a championship. They they lost. They were up 3-2 against the Warriors, right? With Durant. With Durant. They were up 3-1 on them. They lost. They lost. Bro. That year. They lost. The Rockets lost. James Harden dropping the ball again and that's what i'm trying to say like when you see teams in the playoffs like that the nerves will get to them man you know i think that's the only thing that you, you know what i'm saying like there's plenty of factors that you can blame for tree one comebacks from another team you know on a on a team are allowing it to happen there's only one thing there's there's plenty that you can blame on it but there's one main reason that i think a lot of people don't talk about and that's nerves nerves get to you you know what i'm saying and you gotta push you can't start panicking 
which you can see with the Clippers last year. Clippers, you know, Denver came back on them 3-1 three, three, down. Denver came back and won the series. And all I can say, if you watch that game seven, what, what else can you attribute that to other than nerves? I mean, Paul George, one of the best scorers in the NBA, started shooting shooting the basketball off the side of the backboard. I mean, what else can you really blame? Like, you can't look at Paul George and be like, you're not a great shooter. That's why you were missing shots. Like, you can't earballing shots. Like, that's nerves, bruh. Not having that mental fortitude to push through and get the job done. And that's the reason why I'm, I can tell you that a lot of these guys, they're not going to win championships. No, I, I can tell you. You can tell. A lot of people. A lot of people are just... There's other people that is made up on just just dominant teams. You know what I'm saying? Like, the reason why people like Iverson don't have a championship. Reggie Miller. It's not because of nerves. They just went up against better teams Charles Barkley it's a lot of people who don't have championships that they were awesome players even in the playoffs you know what I'm saying Charles Barkley has been to the finals he lost right so in my in, in my opinion um, you know I think it's one of the things that people don't really talk about in sports in general is just the, ner the nerves that comes with it that can help that, that that can help you to fail <laughs> you, know, you know what i'm saying to fail at something and if you don't get in control of those nerves that's why there's certain things that i just i know i will never master and i just give up on them there's certain things i know that i'm good at and i stick to it there's certain things that i would really love to do but nervousness and just being the nerves i know i wouldn't be able to handle it so I just like, you know what I'm saying? It's just those areas. <laughs> but in any case, guys, um, hopefully Hakagi can overcome those nerves. I think he is nervous, and that's why he's like messing up so bad. You know what I'm saying? From the tip off. I think that's what's happening. But anyways, guys, I got more episodes to do. So I can't stay on here for too long talking about this. I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to overcome this in the game. All right, let's go. Shohoku versus Shoyo. I'm ready for it. I'll see you guys for the next one, of course. Peace.